Even in its current state, it can fill the country's largest theater with that iconic sound. It dates back to 1939, designed by Horace Finch, one of the most famous organists of the era. Today, it's played and being restored by Steve Tovey, who says letting it fall further into disrepair would be a crying shame. A tumultuous and calamitous loss. That's the only word to describe it. Uh, the management have since decided it's not, and uh, the team are working, as I say, as we speak, down there and pulling all the little wind leaks out, the cyphers off, bend pipe work, and things like that, all being straightened out as we speak. So, what's so special about it? This is the sound everybody on the theatre organ likes, the tibia closer. I'm oh, this set of chimes on this. Somebody get the door. And then of course you've got your brass. One man band. The restoration will take several weeks, and to understand why, you've got to head down here. Hidden away below the stage are 11 miles of cabling and 1,500 pipes. More than enough to keep the restoration team hard at it. This is where all the hard work is being done, and it's no easy project. <laughs> Quite a job. I can't say it isn't. Fingers crossed it'll be played in public for the first time in years on March the 5th. Peter Marshall, Northwest Tonight, Blackpool.